Thanks for joining us. What we'll be assembling today is a Max ATV UTV off-road trailer from Royal Distributing. All right, so here we have the tools you'll need to assemble this trailer. There's not many, there's a few options. What we chose to use was an impact gun, a 19 mil socket, and a 13 mil socket. You use a 19 mil socket for all of the hardware. The only time you'll use the 13 mil socket is to adjust these bolts. You may or may not need to do that. You'll need a knife, any kind of knife will do to help you unpackage everything. And you'll probably, well, you might need a hammer to fine tune a few things. This is optional as well. If you don't have an impact gun, you can get away with just using a 19 millimeter wrench and a 13, or a 19 millimeter and a 13 millimeter socket on any ratchet. Let's see what we got here. So uh, the trailer comes with uh, what look to be like some instructions and decals, it says. Okay, so we have a nice uh, vinyl decal here. Looks pretty easy. Looks like it's pre-assembled mostly inside, so let's tear it open and see what we got to work with. Huge thanks for Royal Distributing. So um, we got this trailer at Royal Distributing, and uh, we got hooked up with a really solid deal on it. All right, let's tear into this box and uh, let's see what's in there. Oh yeah, that feels pretty solid actually. So these are coming from overseas, these trailers. I mean, for the price you're getting them for, it's not surprising. I mean, they're a great deal. They come inflated. That's imported air. Uh, the tires are on nice big bearing assemblies. Yeah, that's really nice. So this trailer is probably gonna hold quite a bit of weight. So let's get all this stuff out of here and see what we got to work with. So here you see us removing all the items from the box. Everything is nicely packaged. And as we mentioned, the tires even come inflated. So these trailers come with some nice four ply tires and kind of like an all-terrain tread. They're 18 by eight and a half by eight, and they're tubeless, uh, they're pretty good. It's got a nice poly tub. It's nice and sturdy. I'm putting quite a bit of weight on that. It's nice and reinforced. The channels here at the bottom reinforce it. Looks good. Sheet metal, not bad. Looks like these are the sides for it. All the contents are securely bubble wrapped. Now's a good time to get yourself acquainted with all the items in the box and make assembly easier. All the hardware you need is in a plastic bag taped onto the axle. Connect it nicely so you don't lose it. So now let's take a look at what comes in the hardware kit. What comes in the kit, Julian? So we got a whole hardware kit that it comes with. It looks like it's got all the bolts we need, all the washers. Some pins. Now's a good time to lay out all the hardware and make sure you have everything you need. That seems to be our hardware kit. Take a look at our instructions here. You can see the square washers go in the tub. Uh, see the axle mounts back there into those. Okay. So the instructions are quite straightforward. You just follow the picture. We flip the tub upside down. Now we'll position the frame on the tub, line up the pre-drilled holes. Make sure that the angled side of the tub, which is the dump side of the tub, is not the side of the tub you put the latch on. You want the latch at the front 
on the flat section of the dump trailer. So this would be the part closest to the back of the vehicle. The next pieces you're going to need are the square spacers or washers, whatever you want to call them. They're going to go on the inside of the tub. And here are the four bolts that will hold that all together. So now we need to put these through end of our frame here. You take your flat washer, put it on first, you take your lock washer, and then you take your nut, and just finger tighten them for now. You put the tire here, it'll hold it perfectly for you. Now you're going to need a 19 millimeter socket or a wrench or a ratchet, whatever tool you prefer. We're going to use an electric impact gun for this. Just remember when you're snugging these up, you're going into plastic. So as you can see, all this hardware is boxed. So that means you don't need a wrench on the other side, it'll hold itself in the hole and it won't spin. Remember that when you're starting to tighten these, that this is well seated in the hole. Put one hand on the other side and tighten the nut. Go around and do that to all of them. So now these are all torqued up, we can move on to our next step, which I believe is mounting the axle. Flip your trailer upside down again. Grab your axle. Position it in the frame here. And you want to grab two of your bolts. It's locked on both ends, so it doesn't really matter which way you put it in. Grab your 19 mil, hold one side just in case. Work them up. You get this adapter plate. These mount to the axle. This mounts to the drawbar extension. You slip it on here, and then you bolt it all together. So we're gonna start by mounting this adapter piece onto our axle assembly. Okay, so you're gonna get two bolts. Same procedure as with the last bolts. Okay. Put both bolts in. That'll allow you to secure it in place while you put the rest of the hardware on. Don't forget to mount the rear reinforcement plate. Put your washer on. Nuts. The reinforcement plate acts as a gusset and prevents the square tubing from caving in when you torque down those bolts. Both sides of this have a square cut into them, so it doesn't really matter which side you decide to stick it into. Make sure, like we've said in the past, that these seat Washers again. You need these lock washers because this is going to vibrate a lot. Up. So, that when you tighten this down, you want it to be nice and tight, but you still don't want to crush it too much so that this still moves up and down because this is your tilt function. So, if for some reason you torqued it down a little too much, this isn't a high precision application. You can loosen it a touch. Now, we pull this pin out. That allows us to lift this drawbar up so that we can put our last bolt in. Doesn't really matter which side you put this in from. However, if you place it in from the bottom, with the trailer assembled, 
even if that nut comes off, you're not gonna lose your load because gravity is gonna hold that bolt in there. You put your washers on, you put your nut on, hold it from the bottom, make sure it's seated, torque it up. So now that we've torqued up all our bolts and our draw bar moves up and down freely, fits into our locking now. We can take our pin. So what we noticed is we had to play around with this just a little bit. We loosened it and tightened it. There's a little bit of tolerance in all these brackets, so no two trailers are gonna be perfectly alike. So there's gonna be a little bit of finessing. What we've noticed is if you leave these not, uh, these bolts slightly loosened up to where they move a little more freely, it lets you put this pin in a lot easier. Now it goes in no problem. And the more you use it, it's gonna, it's gonna wear the paint out and it's gonna be easier to use. So the last part is putting this in. Secure the pin in there. And now we can do the last step, which is putting our wheels on. Make sure you position the wheels with the valve stem pointing out so that you can air them up and air them down. It looks like it's a, a, a machine surface without any kind of protection on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smear a little bit of quality grease on there. Distribute some grease around there. It's not super important because everything's running on the bearing, so the bearing shouldn't really be rotating on here, but um, I mean the grease will just make it easier so you don't get any corrosion in there and if you need to pull this off later on if you get a flat or something, it'll be much nicer to work with. Slide the wheel on. Once you've slid the wheel on, you're going to take your washer, position it on there. You're going to take your pin, put it through the hole. That wheel is secure. Nice and easy to get off in the future if you need to service it or if you need to break the trailer down for storage. Take your washer, place it on there, take your pin, slip it through the hole. This wheel is on there nice. The wheels are on, all the bolts are tightened up and checked over. We're going to flip the trailer over and put the sides on it. This trailer isn't too heavy either, it's nice and light and easy to move. Rolls great on those bearings. Looks like it's ready for a nice heavy load. Now we've got these side pieces. Looks like they just slip in. And they have pressure pins here. Neat and easy design. So by the looks of it, if you want to put brush in here or something lighter, you can put the sides on. But you don't need these sides to run the trailer. Now it's nice and tight with no rattles. What you see here is a fully assembled ATV UTV trailer available at Royal Distributing. Putting it together was a breeze. We have one last step left for this, and that's applying the decals that came with the trailer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe that area down. And it came with these nice vinyl decals. Last part for this build is putting on this sticker. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you need more information on this product, just check out Royal Distributing's website at www.royaldistributing.com and don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. This episode proudly supported by Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader.